now listen to, to, to Patricia Espinosa, Executive Secretary of the Secretariat of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, who will talk about why the financial sector is key, is a key player in the transition to a fossil-free world. Well, Nick, you, you recorded this interview with Patricia Espinosa. What question did you ask her? Yeah, many questions, but there was one critical question, which is, I mean, she is actually the person running the next UN climate conference in Glasgow. And, and I said to her, what's, what's key to you? What's going to make a big difference there? And, and her response was three Fs, mm -hmm. finance, finance and finance. Mm -hmm. You can see what she says. Let's check it out. It certainly should be the uh, conference of ambition. It, it should be the conference of ambition because what we know right now, Nick, is that we are in a climate emergency and we are very far from where we need to be. Uh, as you may have seen, our initial synthesis report that brings together information from the NDCs, from the, the climate plans uh, that uh, were presented by December uh, last year, which was actually the deadline established in the Paris Agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, all that information put together leads us to a reduction of less than 1% by 2030 in comparison to 2010. And that means that we are really nowhere near where we need to be. The IPCC as you know, says, the science says, we need to get to 45% reduction by 2030 if we want to stand a chance of achieving the goals of the Paris Agreement. So we have 10 years, 10 years to get that 45% reduction. That means that the decisions, that the relevant decisions need to be taken now, need to be taken now, this year, in every country. Why? Because it relates to infrastructure. It relates to energy transition. It relates to uh, building. Uh, it relates to energy efficiency, uh, 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 smart agriculture, etc. So, and we know that kind of transformations, those transformations will not happen from one day to the next. So the relevant decisions, the relevant policies, the relevant um, uh, legal frameworks need to be established now. So this is what we need to see uh, at the conference in Glasgow. Now, in order to get there, we need finance. We need financial flows. We need the clear signals that the commitments by developed countries to support the efforts of developing countries will become a reality. As you know, in 2010, actually since 2009, uh, there was a commitment made to mobilize 100 billion uh, yearly uh, from 2020. And this has not happened. We still don't ha have those 100 billion um, with clarity on the table. So there is a lot of skepticism uh, in the developing world, especially to really commit uh, to this uh, deep transformation. And um, I would say that um, it is time that really all leaders of the world understand that this is an ex existential uh, threat. Mm -hmm. that um, this is the moment where they need to define how they want to go down in history. Mm -hmm. As the leaders that had the vision about what would happen if they did not take the right decisions, or, you know, as uh, leaders who just uh, uh, went on with the business as usual and then really put in danger the uh, uh, human life as we know it in this planet. Thank you, Patricia Espinosa.